hey guys welcome back in this video we are going to continue our frame of motion series in the previous video if you remember we created this emoji component uh, let me refresh this page so we have this button and when we click on this button it will basically show you emojis and you can see our emojis are coming one by one so basically we have two components over here first is the outer div which has this white background color and then we have emojis which are child elements of this division which are coming one after another we utilized variance concept in it so basically the parent division has a different variant and the emojis which are coming they have different variants so let me recap the variant concept if you have forgot it so basically we have an object something similar to this and inside variance block you can uh, mention as many uh, keys you want and in every key you will be having a block containing different css properties that you want to animate uh, right so in this example you can see they are attaching variants like this and let's say you want to use this property so you'll just directly pass it inside the animate right so we are using this similar concept here as well if you haven't watched uh, this emojis video where i'm creating uh, this emoji animation using variants you can uh, watch that I'll, I'll, show, uh, I'll mention its link in the description and also you can uh, check above in the video you will see some link which will redirect you to that video right so in this video we are going to continue uh, learning more about variants so we have one more concept in variants which is uh, dynamic variance concept so uh, let me open my code so in the previous video uh, if you haven't watched it uh, I would suggest you to watch it because this is just a continuation of that video where we are going to learn about uh, how to use dynamic variance and how it can help you to improve your animation right mm -hmm. so let me recap this code so basically we had uh, like five emojis and for every emoji we have this variant 2 which is just basically have two properties show and hide so whenever we want to show the emojis we are you know animating these properties else we are animating these properties right and you can see our variants are very simple these are not dynamic now let's make it dynamic so by dynamic you can see in the documentation as well like basically you can uh, create your variant as a function and inside this inside this function you can see we have this variable which we can access and that variable you can use to uh, basically change any property of your CSS uh, dynamically using this because it will keep changing for your child items right so let's do the similar example so let me go back to my uh, react UI you will see when I click on show emojis uh, all my emojis are coming uh, basically with a 0.3 second delay as you can see we have kept it over here uh, now let's uh, use this uh, dynamic property what we will do is uh, let's uh, basically create one array over here where we will keep all our emojis so you can give it name const emojis array and let's keep all our emojis inside this right we are doing this basically why because uh, I'll be implementing dynamic variants for this emojis section Currently they are all written separately but I want it to be in an array and I'll basically loop over the emojis array and I'll show the span elements and yeah let's see. So first thing I'll just simply uh, copy this emoji and keep it over here right. Uh, let me do fast so this one will be here this one will be here. Uh, right and let's use uh, this one right so let's remove all these span elements and what I will do is I'll basically create a loop over here let's wrap this all in a curly brace and here I'll uh, write emojis array dot map it will uh, get me the emoji and index right and I'll just simply return this and what I can do is okay there will be one more uh, bracket over here and I can close this bracket here great okay so let me uh, wrap this inside a curly braces and I'll write here return okay so there's some syntax error let me see so I might have written extra bracket over here great so there's some array missing key prop okay 
so yeah right key so basically whenever we are looping over something and we are returning dynamic uh, elements always make sure that you write key with all the elements that you are rendering right so you can write index over here great so it would not make any difference right so it, it will okay i haven't uh, written over here emoji so basically it will show me the current emoji after looping right so yeah it will be basically similar to what we had earlier so let me see whether my animation has changed or not so obviously it will be same we haven't changed anything we just uh, changed the code right now i'll be showing you the dynamic variance example uh, we have a similar example over here as well you can see what they're doing is they're basically looping over all the elements and they're using this extra property which uh, name is custom and inside that custom they are passing this uh, variable or you can say this value and this value will be used inside this uh, dynamic variant function so this i will be uh, passing over here and this i is used for the delay right so all these uh, list items when they will be rendered they will have this delay for each and every item uh, like let's say for the second list item obviously index will be 2 right so for that delay will be 2 into 0 0.3 that means 0 0.6 okay so we'll be uh, doing this similar example in our case so currently you see all our emojis uh, coming instantly right and after a 0 0.3 second delay uh, let's add a delay with respect to uh, this index that we have over here so we have looped over emojis array and with this index property uh, I want to add let's say delay right so what you can do is you can add custom over here and I will pass this index so whenever we use this custom so this index will automatically be passed to your variants right and yeah let's change our variant as well currently it's a simple block right so basically what I want to do is I want to add a delay when uh, I show the emojis when I click on this button all the emojis which are visible I want to have some kind of constant uh, you can say delay so let's do that so I'll change this into a dynamic variant how do we do that we basically convert this into a function so you can write I and then arrow and you can uh, enclose this in a bracket right so now we have created a dynamic variant but we haven't used this index okay so what you can do is uh, let's add a delay so I can write transition and delay so I want delay to be I into 2 right let me save it so it, with this way you can basically create your variant into a dynamic variant uh, currently I'm only changing the delay property you can change like any CSS property with this example right so from where this I is coming you see we have passed this custom property so for every emoji this index will be different why because we are basically looping over this emojis and we have five emojis right so for first emoji it will be zero for second it will be one and so on like two three four right so let's see what difference does it make in my animation right so earlier all the emojis they were coming instantly and after 0 0.3 uh, and seconds right so let's see so when I click on this first emoji it came instantly but all the remaining emojis they are coming with the constant you can say delay so why it is happening because of this uh, dynamic vari uh, variant which we used so f first emoji it came instantly why because for the first emoji i will be zero that means delay will be zero but still it came after some delay why it's happening because i have kept stagger children 0.3 let me uh, remove this as well uh, then you would notice uh, like that first uh, emoji will come instantly without even a delay right so let me try this so now if I click on this you will notice that first emoji it comes instantly without any delay and the remaining emojis they are coming after every two seconds right so why it's happening because I have uh, done this like basically for every item I'm adding two seconds delay right so in this way you can utilize dynamic variance to add like dynamic animation right so earlier all emojis they were coming with the 0 0.3 second delay right but now you see the first item is coming instantly but the remaining items are coming with the dynamic animation or you can say dynamic delay so in this way you can use dynamic variance and uh, basically animate any CSS property 
uh, there can be more examples as well i guess but in this video to keep things simple to make things understandable uh, i utilized this example so this code will be in my github repository as well i'll mention its link in the description so those of you who haven't watched the previous video or those of you who are watching this video uh, i mean for both of them uh, the code is there in my github repository and you can check it out and i hope this video was helpful for you and you can basically use this concept uh, maybe to create some more animation as well if you do that do uh, tag me on twitter or any social media and you know you can mention that you know you learn this from uh, my channel or like that right so i hope you learned something new in this video and uh, i'll be coming up with more concepts of frame of motion in the future so you know do make sure to like this video and yeah subscribe my channel thank you guys for watching yeah, see you in the next video.